want to thank you for choosing We the People. Let's talk about the Literacy Cooperative. It's found that more than 60% of incoming Cleveland Metropolitan School District kindergarten students are not adequately prepared to succeed, compared to only 20% in the Outer Ring suburbs. The organization is trying to help local children become better readers by enrolling families in Dolly Parton's Imagination Library. Joining me right now with more of the topic are Bob Papanetti on the right, President and CEO of the Literacy Cooperative, along with Dr. David Margolius, Director of the Cleveland Department of Public Health. Gentlemen, welcome to the broadcast. Thank you for having me again. Oh, I'm glad to have you here. Bob, tell me, what is the Imagination Library? Sure, it's a, it's a program started by Dolly Parton herself, mm -hmm. where enrolled children will get a brand new, age-appropriate book in the mail every month. Oh, yeah? Until they're five years old. They get their last book the month of their fifth birthday, and it's, look out, kindergarten, here I come. Oh, I love it. I love it. And it's, it's a wonderful program. It's really uh, encouraging children to want to read more, and families are yeah. reading more together. Okay, that's what it's all about, right, David, Dr. David Margolius of the Public, Public uh, Health Department of Cleveland. Talk about brain development and reading and all what we're talking about. Sure, yeah, no, thank you so much. So from the age of zero to three years old, mm -hmm. our brains are growing faster than they will at any point in our lives. They're making more and more neural connections, and that's just one small part of why it's so important to read to your children. You mean as a youngster, zero to three, that's when the brain is setting us up for the rest of life. That's right, and a lot of parents, you know, might not be reading to their children because they say, well, my children is not talking, uh, mm -hmm. they can't read, and so, you know, what benefit is that? But yeah. it's so many neural connections are happening, and that time is such a precious, important yeah. time in their lives. Bob Papanetti, your president and CEO of the Literacy Cooperative, you brought some books along with you, which we have spread out on our on our table right here. Tell me about these books. You know, they are, again, age appropriate, very high quality books. Mm -hmm. um, you know, one of the favorite parts of my job is talking to families who are part of the program, uh -huh. and they just talk about the benefits. I mean, one, they just love the books, and they love getting a book every month in the mail. But really, you know, reading these books together with their children is helping develop a lot of habits, the habits of reading, the habits of sitting still, the uh -huh. habits of paying attention. Those are all really yeah. important skills that a child must learn before they go to school. So something like, I, I, I picked up one j j just off the table here. Look out kindergarten, here I come, is what it says. And a parent could read this, doctor, right? Mm -hmm. uh, the, the opening line is, wake up, dear, said Henry's mom. It's the first day of kindergarten. And the story goes on and on and on, I suppose. What happens when mom or dad or some adult is reading to the youngster? Yeah, so what that time reading together means for a child is that as a parent, you're not looking at your phone, you're not you know, on the computer, you're really focused on, on your child and your child sees that. Your mm -hmm. child is learning from your behavior, watching how you mouth each of the yeah. words and, and just really developing into the best person that they can be. That sets us up for the rest of our lives, That's right? That's right, right. I'm reading now when I read the teleprompter or, or read anything, read the mail or, mm -hmm. or, or the bills which go out. <laughs> yes. I mean, that's because mom and dad set me up when I was a kid. Right? You got it, yeah. yeah. When we look at the how kids perform in third grade and fifth grade, mm -hmm. it has everything to do with how often they were read to when they were one and two years mm -hmm. old. Yeah. How can people get involved in Dolly Parton's Imagination Library? They can go to our website, uh, literacycooperative.org, mm -hmm. and click on the link and to sign up. Again, it's free and uh, it's a very easy process to enroll in the program and they'll begin getting their first book about six weeks after they yeah. sign up. And I love the tie you're wearing. Oh. Bob Papanetti Thank is you. wearing a tie that's got just, just filled with book shelves and shelves of books, which, which is what it's all about. Uh, you're excited about this. This has been something you've been involved yes. in. Love this program because we, we see that there's an opportunity to help children um, from falling behind. You know, we spend so much time and attention on helping children and adults catch up this program can really help set the foundation so they begin school ready to learn and on par with all other students and help be more successful in school and beyond. And, in, and the medical doctor right here will say amen to that. Because amen, This please. sets us up for everything else we do in everything, life. Right. Is that correct, doctor? And just 10 minutes a day reading with your child will just set them on a path to success for the rest of their lives. So they need to hear this voice. They need to hear the voice. They need to see the words written on the paper, that kind of thing. That's right. Okay, well, yeah. thank you, gentlemen, for being with us. Dr. David Margolius, who's director of the Cleveland Department of Public Health, and Bob Papanetti, who's president and CEO 
CEO of the Literacy Cooperative. And by the way, I'm giving you some information. To enroll in Dolly Parton's Imagination Library, simply visit literacycooperative.org or telephone 216-776-6180. You can also scan the QR code on the screen. More information on everything that we've been talking about.